All right, uh, you're with us here uh, talk, to talk about the Infosys results. We're coming to you live from the Bangalore headquarters of uh, Infosys, uh, and we've got the top management team here with us. Infosys has delivered a positive surprise on the revenue front after a straight eight quarters of disappointment. I mean, it's showing on the stock, uh, some 12%, 13% gain on the stock price. SD Shibulal is CEO and managing director at the company. He's with us as always. Stephen Pratt is managing partner worldwide consulting and system integration. Gentlemen, thanks very much for your time. Good morning. Thanks. Good morning. I wish you a ha very happy new year, and I yes. think it's starting off on a good note. Happy new year. Results <laughs> yeah. are good, right? Yeah, we have done well in Q3. We, uh, we grew by 6.3% per in Q3. We third load stone, we grew by 4.2%. Um, the growth has been very broad-based. Um, it has come from across the board, our customer base. Mm -hmm. Client additions this quarter has been very good. Uh, 53 new clients have been added this quarter. Um, pricing has uh, gone up by 1.8%. I wouldn't consider that as a secular trend, but this quarter the pricing has gone up because of our portfolio shift. If you look at the three broad offerings we have, business and IT operations starting with, we have done very well. We have uh, closed eight large deals, amounting to about $700 million TCB this quarter. Consulting and system integration, Steve will talk about. It grew by 15.5% quarter on quarter. And lastly, products and platform that uh, uh, went up to $600 million TCV. You know, we'll get into numbers in a bit, but I just want to be, mm. so we've been analyzing the numbers for the last uh, uh, 90 minutes or so. so. And we'll get into specifics and I want some details there. But I just want to ask you, why was Infosys so considered and careful uh, in toning down expectations over the last three months, okay. going into these results, was I mean, were you really concerned? And then towards the end, momentum picked up. That's that's essentially what happened here. So actually, as I said, we done well in Q3. In the middle of the quarter, we had seen headwinds. We had seen headwinds from actually furloughs because the number of furloughs were more than what we expected. Mm. The longevity of the furloughs had increased mm. uh, in in Q3. Mm. Number one. Number two, there was an impact of Super, uh, super Sandy. Mm. We have mitigated it simply through hard work. Our people have worked extremely hard. Our relationship with clients have been uh, very strong during this tough period of time. Mm. And we have been able to mitigate those headwinds. No, because the signals, so, from, uh, signals from Infosys over the last three months was one of extreme caution and I mean, we'll cut, we, it all basically amounted to that we'll basically be headed for a big guidance cut, a significant meaningful guidance cut for the full year. That has not happened. That's my question. Did you see things picking up towards the end of the quarter? Because if it did, I mean, that bodes well for the next uh, couple of quarters as well. So actually, if you look at the half year, we had, uh, we had a certain growth rate which we, we assumed to reach the 5% growth. Mm. In Q3, we had assumed a certain growth rate. I think we have achieved it. Mm. That, but this implies a 2.7% growth rate in, in Q4, which mm. is usually a soft call, quarter for us. Mm. We remain cautiously optimistic mm. for the year. Mm. We have not changed our guidance of 5% growth for the year. Mm. Now, as I said, because we had seen headwinds, new headwinds um, in the middle of the quarter, mm. uh, we have been able to mitigate. I mean, so it's not a function of uh, end of the quarter momentum picking up. That's what you're saying. Or See, that's there is, all, yeah. the Q3 is a reflection of the execution of our strategy over the last couple of quarters. Mm. Right? That is why I went item by item. Each of our service lines have done uh, well this quarter. If you look at last quarter, we had announced eight transformational deeds last quarter. Yeah. The revenues have shown up this quarter. Usually when we talk about large deal wins, it takes mm. one to two quarters for the revenue to show up. Mm. So, um, what you are seeing in Q3, when we say we have performed well, is a reflection of the execution of our strategies uh, over the last two, okay. three quarters and the hard work of our people. Is there a, is there a, uh, have you booked a large milestone from a client in the quarter? That's why you're seeing revenue spiking up. Has that happened? Um, no, we, there is no single milestone impact in Q3. Nothing in Q3. No. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephen, consulting, 15% growth, X Lodestone, 8%, right? Right. That's, That's right. what happened. Yes. Can you just run us through a bit more color there? What happened? Sure. Um, well, I mean, I, I think it's, as Shibu was saying, it's a, it's a payoff of our strategies that we've been implementing for a long time. I, I think that uh, that if you look at a year ago, we, we really created consulting and systems integration. And I think I've come up with a value proposition to clients that's better than anyone out there. I mean, if we look at a, a strict linkage between what we do and the business value that's created for our clients mm. in a very rigorous way mm. is, I think, a real breakthrough in our profession. Mm. And uh, so I think our, the clients love our story. Our, our win rate is up significantly. Um, we're, we're 
uh, I think, competing very, very well. We have very good people. They've been working very hard. And, and as Shabu said, as you know, the wins that we had last quarter and the quarter before are, are finally kicking in. So uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I would rather be in our position than anyone else's position. Right, right uh, now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think uh, we have the right talent. We have the right strategy. We right. have the right resources, the right balance sheet. Mm. And, uh, and so I, I think, uh, uh, but, you know, we're, we are... Cautious, we are cautious, right? I mean, it's it's uh, yeah. consulting and system integration can be lumpy, hmm. and so I wouldn't expect those kind of numbers every <laughs> every quarter. But uh, but there it was it was a very good quarter. No, I mean, so what kind of run rate would you uh, expect? Uh, I mean, organic and lodestone uh, going forward. Well, I think that uh, you know our 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 long term strategy is for the company to be a third, a third, a third in in consulting and I consulting and uh, systems integration, business IT services, and products and platforms. Hmm. And so we're actually approaching that right now. Uh, you know, we, uh, I think that uh, the, the, the part of our strategy is to have a diverse portfolio to future-proof the company, whereas maybe some other companies have, have been more a, a homogenous company and been uh, focused on one area. Uh, we've said that over the next 30 years that we need to be a really diversified company. And so that's, that's where we're focused. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.